Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina wa Maulana wa Shafi'una Muhammad. My dear brothers and sisters, we have a very beautiful topic today to discuss. And this topic, let us start with a question. Who is God? My dear brothers and sisters, since human started to exist on this universe, on this planet, the first human, every one of us believe that the first human was Adam, peace be upon him. And he was the first male and his life partner, it means our first mother, grandmother, Hawa, or in English we can say Eve, peace be upon her. First female in this planet. So for us there was one father, Adam alayhi salam, and one mother, Hawa alayhi salam. They were the parents of the mankind and they believe and they believed in God. Adam alayhi salam believed in God. Hawa alayhi salam believed in God. And we do not know when they came to this world. Exact year we do not know. Only Allah knows. But since then until today, this planet full of human being accordingly. According to the geography, it may change time to time. But in reality, the entire mankind are from Adam and Hawa alayhi salam. So the question here, who is God? So the answer very simple. The God is the God of Adam and Hawa, peace be upon them. Every one of us believe in that God. And today after many, many centuries after Adam and Hawa alayhi salam, today we can see many countries and many religious people and many types of faith. And they all somehow believe in God. Maybe a very minimum, minimal people, number of people, countable numbers of people, because of their inability to understand the God, they, just for the sake of saying, they denying the existence of God. But in reality, if they try to understand the God, no doubt every one of us are given actually the faculty of thinking and we made utilize that faculty of thinking Finally, by God willing, inshallah, every one of them also will have to reach to the faith in God. That is reality. For the purpose of saying, they may say, I don't believe in God. And they may proud within their box, within, within their own box, they will say that, oh, I don't believe in any God. I reject all the religious faith, but in reality, only himself or herself knew what is their deep inside or in their bottom of their consciousness, whether they deny the existence of God or not. That is very individual because human are human have a public life and private life. So there are many things in the public they may say, but in the private. They are different. Why I am saying like this means it, belief in a God is the nature of the every living things in this world. It is there. It's a natural instinct. A natural instinct to believe in the God is existing. Is existing. But maybe some deviations may, took, may take place because there are chances to be deviated by evil vibrations. Evil vibrations and deviations. Human may be deviated 
from the faith in God. By God's power, by God's permission, by God's mercy, at any time that deviated human can come back to the faith in God again. Because the evil or the devil also created by God. There was a purpose why God created devil. Why God created positivity and negativity. If there is no positive vibration and negative vibration, then there is no value for obedience. Obedience only will take place if there is a positive direction and negative direction. The good always will go to positive and they obey the law of nature. They obey the law of the God. When we say nature means the law of nature established in this universe by God. Because God says in the Quran very clearly, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل say هو الذي it is he الذي هو أنشأكم has created you and made you grow وجعل لكم السمع والأبصار والأفئدة وجعل and made Lakum for you asamra faculties of hearing, wal abswara faculties of seeing, wal afida faculties of feeling. In Islam, we address him as Allah because in the final revelation, his name was very clearly mentioned as Allah. But for us to easily understand, for all of us easily understand. According to our topic today, who is God? So we say God. So God says that he who has created you a man and made you grow. What is the meaning of made you grow? Made you grow through your understanding about me. How much you could understood about me. For that I give you or I made in you the faculties of hearing seeing and feeling or understanding. But The problem here Little thanks it is you gave back to your God. Most of you or many of you are out of ignorance out of your failure to understand the God in a proper way to understand him and so you could not submit to him and you could not thank to your God that is your failure so my dear brothers and sisters believe in God believe in God is a natural instinct in every human in every living things and non-living things in this universe. Also Allah mentioned in the Holy Quran. Yusabbihu lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al It means whatever exists in this universe as living and non-living things, everything glorifies their God in their respective ways methods and style. My dear brothers and sisters, in our topic today, who is God? Who is God is a natural instinct in every human and when he intend to see the God, intend to feel the God, intend to understand the God, the God will open his heart and he could understand or feel or can come close to the God. Those are not interested, for them is not possible. And yet, inside them, de deep inside their conscience, the truth of God existence is still remain as truth. So, God is truth. Wa billahi tawfiq wal hidayah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.